Hey guys, Quinn here with Tactical and Practical. Getting a crossbow sighted in today. Thought I'd share the procedure with you. One thing you're going to want to have is a rangefinder. I review this one, Sig Sauer Buckmaster 1500, in a separate video. It's a pretty good one. Um, for most crossbows that have an FPS ring, this procedure is probably the same. It just matters where you need to zero that. Um, crossbow too. This Raven R10 is zeroed at 50. It's not uncommon to see a crossbow zeroed at 20. And I think typically it is whatever hash mark is in the middle of your reticle because then the um, scope will automatically calibrate for all the other hash marks. So I need to make one adjustment. We're going to go two clicks left on this thing. And I think that's going to put us on bullseye. Typically what I do is... I start at 10 yards just to make sure I'm on the bag and I'm not going to lose something, although that still happens. Two left, we said. And then I take it out to 20, make sure I'm close. Uh, when I'm pretty close to 20 or 30, that's when I take it out to 50 for the zero procedure. Once it is zeroed, you then confirm your other hash marks are properly calibrated by taking your target to a different distance and then confirming the hash marks at that distance. If you are shooting low, you would adjust the speed of your bow up. If you are adjusting high, you would adjust the speed down. In my case, I'm in pretty good shape because I, uh, on Saturday, was at my weekly skeet shooting and my buddy has a chrono, so I put it on this Raven and uh, it's advertised as a 400 FPS bow. I got uh, 397, 403, which I will call 300. Push that in there until it clicks. Safe off. Let's see if we can't get one on the bull. And then this thing will be pretty close to being uh, ready to hunt. I think that's bullseye right there. Let's go check it out. I mean, let's see that. Uh, that is pretty much dead. Uh, I mean, from here, the smallest click over I could make is a half, which would put me right on the other side of that, that uh, hash mark. So once you're in within the quarter inch range, I have to think that that could have been me. All right, going to 40. All right, now that we hit the bull at 50, we're zeroed, we should be calibrated. All we have left to do is confirm our FPS. And this should be good because I chronoed this Saturday, a couple days ago. And if you chronoed, the FPS ring should be just right. Let's check it out. That, I think, is about as close as you're going to get to a bullseye right there. So we're at 40. Maybe we'll take it out and do one long range just for kicks. All right, just for giggles, we're going to try a long range. I thought I walked it out. It's 98 yards. Let's see what happens in 98. All right, I'm going to have to go up or left because it's about all I can see. I see the H for hurricane. I'll aim for the bottom middle of the H. 
All right, we're on the bag. Bullseye at 40. The hash marks have been verified. And look at that. So, walk you out here so you can know I'm not jobbing it. All right. 100 yard crossbow shot. I was aiming for here, right here at the bottom of that H, and we put it right on the U. So I had my um, elevation dialed perfectly, which means that reticle is solid. I was about three inches right, that's user error. Um, these 100 yard shots are just really for fun anyway, right? I mean, unless it was a coyote or something. Deadly accurate crossbow all the way right out here to 100. Pretty cool stuff. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Hope this helped you figure out how to uh, zero your crossbow, the procedure you go through. Uh, try to save you a couple of the painful adjustments, but this thing's money right now. It's right as rain, and uh, we're getting ready to go on a trip. We'll tell you how it goes. We'll see you. Bye.